Let's take a look at how to square a binomial expression. Remember, a binomial expression is an expression, a variable expression, involving powers of x and constants either added or subtracted together in a way that there's only one addition or one subtraction. Uh, the example that's shown here, 3x minus 5, 3x minus 5 is a binomial because its two terms are 3x and 5. So how do we square a binomial? One of the reasons that this topic is important in an algebra course is that it is so frequently misunderstood in a way that ignores the arithmetic properties that make algebra work. So how do students misunderstand the process of squaring a binomial? In a departure from the usual, the first thing I'd like to do is to explain what not to do in this situation. What not to do when squaring a binomial is to treat it like a distributive property problem. In other words, the first instinct that many students have that gets them into trouble is that they would like to distribute the power 2 across the subtraction inside the parentheses and in doing so typically obtain an answer something like 9x to the second minus 25. This is an incorrect solution. And the simple reason that it's an incorrect solution is that exponents may be distributed across parentheses if the quantities inside the parentheses are being multiplied or being divided. That was one of our exponent rules from the previous goal topic. But in this example, inside the parentheses are two different terms, 3x and 5, which are being subtracted. And addition and subtraction, while multiplication distributes over it, so a 2 out in the front, we could distribute to each of the terms. If it's multiplying, multiplication distributes over addition and subtraction. An exponent, on the other hand, may not be distributed across addition or subtraction under any circumstances, unless that exponent is 1, which it's not here. So this is what not to do. Instead, to square a binomial, go back to basics about what squaring a quantity indicates that we're doing to that quantity. To square any quantity is to multiply that quantity by itself, whether or not that quantity is a single number or whether that quantity is an algebraic expression that may have multiple terms. So we will never go wrong in any problem where we're trying to simplify a power of an expression by rewriting that expression using multiplication instead. So instead of thinking of this as a problem involving the exponent of 2, we'll instead think of it as multiplying the quantity 3x minus 5 by itself. Turning this power problem into a multiplication problem is the key to navigating this simplification problem correctly. After rewriting this expression using multiplication instead of a power, now we can distribute that multiplication across the subtraction that's happening now in both of the factors, 3x minus 5. What that looks like is the process which many algebra students know as FOIL. Multiply the first pair of terms, the outer pair of terms, the inner pair of terms, and the last pair of terms, and add all of those terms together. We can keep track of it with a horizontal method as we're doing at the top of the screen, or we can also use a grid, like the one I've sketched at the bottom of the screen, to keep track of our terms and make sure that we haven't forgotten any. I personally like the grid method because we'll still be able to use it in other examples of multiplying one polynomial by another polynomial, as we'll see in the next goal topic, and it will ensure that we don't accidentally miss any of the products that we have to do. So if we FOIL this pair of expressions, so to speak, we'll get four terms, the first being 3x times 3x, the outers 3x times negative 5, the inners negative 5 times 3x, and the latters negative 5 times negative 5. Now it's simply a matter of simplifying this sum of four different terms. The 3x times the 3x 
gives us 9x to the power 2. Each of the 3x times negative 5s is going to give us a negative 15x. And the negative 5 times negative 5 will give us a positive 25. Adding all four of these terms together will give us our final answer. The only thing standing in the way of us being done is the fact that the pair of negative 15x's in this expression, because their variable parts are exactly the same, are like terms and therefore, when added together, may be combined by adding their coefficients. Negative 15x plus negative 15x will give us negative 15 plus negative 15 times x, or negative 30x, making our final answer 9x to the power 2 minus 30x plus 25. So when squaring a binomial, it's almost as important to remember what you cannot do as it is to remember what you can do. We cannot distribute the power across addition or subtraction inside the parentheses. Instead, re-envision this problem as a multiplication problem. To square this expression, rewrite it as multiplication by itself, and then use the souped up distributive property of multiplication over addition that's often known as FOIL to multiply each of the terms from the first factor by each of the terms from the second factor, add all of the resulting products, and simplify your like terms to arrive at your final answer.